everybody, I'm Adriana and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a DCP or Disney College Program dorm tour. I'm going to show you everything that came in the dorm before we got here, what we brought, how we decorated, and some of my must-haves, super suggested things that you should bring if you're moving into CP housing or just a dorm in general because most of them overlap for the most part. Um, if you've never been to my channel before, welcome. So nice to have you here. I hope you stick around. And once again, I'm Adriana. I am on the spring 29 term of the Disney College program. I am in children's activities and I li I'm living in a two bedroom, six person Chatham Square apartment. So that's pretty much what you'll be seeing today. And that's pretty much it for this introduction. So let's just go ahead and get straight on into it. Okay, everybody. So this is our room. This is just a little overview of what we are working with. Once again, we are in a Chatham Square, two bedroom, three, I mean, two bedroom, six person apartment. So that means three people in each room, which means one single bed and two bunk beds. Over here on the left is my roommate Emily's bed. She got here a week before us. And then over here we have our bunk beds. I'm on the bottom and my roommate Sophie is on top. We did not plan to have matching bed, um, bed sheets. It was just perfect that it worked out that way. But we're going to start over here on Emily's side. I'm not going to go into, into detail about their stuff because I don't want to like invade their privacy, but I will show you what's up. So definitely suggest bringing some sort of storage or shelving to have kind of as a bedside table slash storage for your DCP or if you're living in a dorm. It's going to be super helpful and you could always use the extra space. And so she has that. She has her calendar, a little corkboard, and this is super cute because she has like almost like a bucket list and she crosses it off every time she finishes something. She has a little ear wall and then lots of pictures from home. And we always um, make a joke whenever she puts up a new pair of ears, we're like, it's growing. But um, this is her little bedside table, which is really cute. Now, something to note is that, <laughs> hello, <laughs> um, her bed did come. So the bed frame and the drawers underneath, those are, um, included so that's the furniture that comes with the apartment and all of the storage underneath she was able to keep because obviously it's attached to her bed and then this these drawers over here are mine and Sophie's so Sophie's on the left mine is on the right for some reason my handle came off and nobody's come to fix it so we've just kind of been rolling with it this is also included and I love the really big mirror because the windows are on both sides and it makes videos and selfies and putting on makeup super easy peasy over here is my ears and i love these ears the top ones i bought on my program i'm putting it this way so the lighting doesn't get all funky but and then i've got these blue ones that i got for my birthday one year and then for christmas the bottom ones over here i keep my makeup just so i can do it in front of the window and know that i don't look crazy um i have my naked palettes which honestly i have not touched once on my program as of yet i have not needed to look that good just yet I've got my name tag, that way I don't forget it because if I see it there I know that I need to put it on. Got some paint brushes, makeup brushes, um, I obviously don't use paint brushes on my face, I just put them there because they're easy to find when I'm doing like an art project or something. My beauty blender, some random pens, literally I just put everything in here. Um, nail polish, this is my favorite nail polish in the whole world. It is... You can focus. I know you can do it. It is Fiji by Essie. It is my favorite shade of pink. I love it so much. There's only one other nail polish that I really ever use, and it's Mod About You by OPI. They're very similar pinks, and I just, that's like the only color I really like on my nails. So that's my favorite nail polish. My favorite foundation down here, and then just some random stuff in the drawers. I have vitamins and lotion, and then this right here is kind of just my everyday makeup bag. I keep the things that I use every single day in there, excluding my foundation. I leave it up there in my beauty blender because I want my beauty, my beauty blender to air dry so it's not like getting soiled. Um, I put all of that in there just so that if my roommates are sleeping and I have to wake up early and put my makeup on, I am not being noisy out here and I can easily swoop it up and bring it into the bathroom. But otherwise, I like to do my makeup out here because the lighting is super good and I know I don't look crazy. But yes, I leave my laptop right here primarily. My phone is right there. Um, in here, my drawers, the first one, I put my uniforms and then my pajamas and any like jeans slash bottoms go in there. Over here, I have this little rack that I have had since my freshman year of college, I'm pretty sure, and I got it from Target. It's in gray, and I just got 
notification from Twitter that Disney Parks blog tweeted. <laughs> um, so yes, this is super helpful. Again, if you get yourself a night table with some sort of storage or a rack like this, I really suggest it. You're gonna want the extra storage and just a place to put your things, like some random things that don't really have a place. Over here, I have tissues because I get really bad allergies for sometimes for absolutely no reason. I have this Be Thankful book and I used to be really good about writing down what I'm thankful for every single day before I go to bed, but I have been slacking really hard because I get out of work at like 12 and I'm exhausted <laughs> when I get out of work. So I need to get back into that habit that I have that there. I have this one question a day five-year journal that my mom got me for Christmas and it's really cool because you can kind of see how you answer the questions differently over the years and I try to keep up with that. I have my favorite pens in here. They're the best pens in the world. If you need pens for school or for your planner or anything like that, get these because they're the best, especially for like writing in a planner. I have my planner back here. I am normally the strongest advocate for the happy planner, but because I had my DCP, I knew I really wouldn't be using it that much, so I didn't bother making the purchase. I just bought a cheap one from Marshalls, but it's still super cute. And then back here, I have um, my little like creative journal where I put like my video ideas any picture ideas and stuff like that and I just love this um notebook I'm going to show you what it says because it's my favorite thing in the world it says she is magic that one and it's so true I am magic we're all magic we all have our own magic and I I just love it and all my creative ideas I just I just love it they're all magical so I have that let me try and not knock it over put my t-shirts back over here I have this little tile that I made during training for my job my flashlight that really needs to go in my fanny pack that I use for work and then I have this little um, card holder I'm like trying to hide my number from you but um, my little card holder that I use to put all my IDs and stuff in and my keys are on there coming down I have this cute little sticker that I got when I moved in I didn't want to put it in my car so I put it on this because it's metal the second rack has my camera and my battery charger for my vlog camera and then my tech bag. In my tech bag, I keep all of my chargers, my wires, my hard drives, SD cards, um, USBs, any of that good stuff. I keep it all in there and I take that with me pretty much everywhere. And then in that black bag, I keep some of my jewelry. I don't wear a ton of jewelry, so it's pretty easy to manage. Down here, I have my laptop case and then the watch I wear for work. And then I have my book bag that I use for school and work and just everything, really. Now, getting into my bed. So, this is the other side of the room. We've got the ears that I got from Traditions. On the left, this cutie um, scarf that I got from Target today. And I'm so happy about it. I love it so much. I swooped it up because I knew I could not leave it. Um... I have my bed here so my bedspread or my covers is actually a duvet cover that I got from Target and I love the like I love things that are white but textured and it was perfect and I love the polka dots it felt so mini and cute and it's actually a duvet cover because I didn't want to buy a whole brand new um, comforter considering the DCP is only a couple months and when I go back to Gainesville I already have a bedspread that I love and it's a queen size and I knew I really wouldn't need a twin ever again. So I just bought a duvet cover and stuffed the comforter I had on my bed from home in there. Worked perfect and it was cheaper than buying a whole new set. Um, this body pillow, I love it. It's pink and the cover is from Target. If you look really closely, it is kind of sparkly, but you might not be able to tell in this lighting. Also, I've washed it a couple times, so it's not in its prime anymore the pillow in the back is has like this popsicle print that i got from ross and it's also like the sheets underneath my bed have it on it um the pillowcase that came with the duvet cover and then this blessed pillow that i'm pretty sure i got from marshall's i got a lot of things from marshall's in here um and then i have this little gallery wall right here obviously both ears are from the disney parks the millennial pink ears and the rose gold ears i have the a on the left that i got at marshall's the two frames on the bottom i got from michael's and they were um, i want to say they were just wood to begin with and then i painted them white and dusted them with gold paint after because i really like like the dusty kind of worn look especially with gold so i went with that came out really perfect and then the, the left i have a mermaid and the right i have wonder woman because i love both of those things 
and the top frame says how great thou art and I got it from Hobby Lobby and then I have this cross on the right that I got from Altered State and then some hangers from costuming this this blanket is I actually don't know where it's from my roommate Kaylee got it for me for Christmas so big thanks to Kaylee up here on the top bunk is Sophie's stuff it's really hard to make your bed on the top bunk so don't judge her for it <laughs> it's really difficult um, but she has her calendar and then all these cutie little pictures ears and a little painting I don't know if she painted it but it says believe and it has Tinkerbell and it's super cute we did not intend to have our bed sheets matching we didn't even know each other before our program and it worked out so perfect Over here is more Sophie stuff. Again, super suggest the storage slash night table. Super helpful. She's got some books down there, some wires. Good stuff. Over here is the back wall. And on the right is our closet. And on the left is our bathroom. Okay, this is where things get serious, y'all. So, things I highly suggest you having if you're moving into CP housing or a dorm. Get yourself a vacuum because the vacuums they provide are nine times out of ten terrible and this little guy has saved me so much especially my car because my car gets so dirty and i use it in my car too it's just perfect definitely suggests a little vacuum this fan has also been the biggest blessing our ac for some reason just doesn't like to work sometimes and it can get really hot if we don't have this on at night and like the noise is really good at muffling any noise outside of the room or if somebody's like moving around getting ready for work it does a great job really suggest it even if you get a tiny one for the noise and the extra like circulation super helpful coming up here i have my calendar and this i got at marshall's i want to say at, as well pretty much everything here is from like the trifecta of marshall's home goods and tj maxx and target for the most part that's where i get most of my stuff if i'm ever curious like mm, where did i get that it was probably from one of the three marshall's home goods or tj maxx but um we all have calendars and we all put our schedule on the calendars and like where we'll be which is super helpful because then we know where someone is or we know like if they're at work or if they're off or if they're going home or just it's easy for us to know like how to be considerate like oh let me be quiet this morning like they're sleeping because they have a super early shift or a super late shift or something like that so it's just super helpful and helps with courtesy um and then it's also just nice for me personally because then i know when to film things and not be in someone's way or make them uncomfortable um not that they would be uncomfortable but you know just not trying to intrude on their space and then you can see my schedule this week kind of crazy and then i'm going to gainesville on sunday because i have an interview on monday and i get to see all my friends so i'm super happy um but yeah that's pretty much all i got going on there and then <laughs> end game i cannot wait to see it so that that got its own little own little spot on the calendar there all right everybody so we are going into the closet all right so this is pretty much how it's set up in here we've got emily's stuff over here on the left um those are her hats for work her belts for work all that good stuff she has a lot more costumes than me and sophie do because she is quick service in Magic Kingdom and they move her around a lot. Whereas Sophie is only in Be Our Guest and I'm literally only in my children's activities uniform. So it's pretty cool to see what she ends up wearing because she always has like a different costume on. Um, the stuff like the boxes over here are hers. That's all her stuff right there. Um, that laundry basket's mine. That one's Sophie's. So me and Sophie kind of share the wall over here. Um, from the shoe rack over is Sophie's stuff. She has most of her stuff like rolled up in tucked away in her drawers whereas I'm obnoxious <laughs> and have a ton of stuff hung up and then the shoe rack is mine I like to put all my shoes in there I even roll up my leggings and my track shorts and I put them in there just because it's, it's easy access I guess but then up here I brought the storage bins that I brought everything in some extra decor that I ended up not using an extra um shower curtain that I brought but we ended up not using it because Emily already had one up but this is pretty much all my hung up clothes, clothes that I brought. I just bought this dress from Target. It's actually a jumpsuit. I'm so excited to wear it. I'm obsessed with it and I could not leave it and I love it so much. But this is all my hung up clothes. I've got like some Disney t-shirts in there, some casual wear, good stuff. 
down here I also have like three drawers that have like underwear and bathing suits in it and then when you move into CP housing they have lockers in all of the closets there's three here one of them's hidden back there that one's mine you can choose to use it if you want to um I think you have to bring your own lock not totally sure but I don't really use it just because I don't have anything of like extreme value and I mean I have my laptop and like my cameras and stuff but I don't know I just haven't felt the need to lock it up inside of a locker but that's totally up to you if you want to use it I think it's cool that it's there as an option um we have this attic that kind of concerns me because I have no idea what would go in that attic and I don't want to know what's in there <laughs> But we also have a lot of storage up here, so that's definitely something that you could utilize for space as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the closet. Into the bathroom, now we go. So this is our bathroom. Uh, pretty well sized for three people. I would say this is the shower curtain that Emily had brought with her. And then she brought this um, Little Mermaid tail, um, what do you call that? Like bathroom? rug something like that i don't know the floor mat i don't know why the name isn't coming to my head now but yep that stuff she brought here and then obviously a shower is back here um yeah it's just a shower not much to it just a just a good old shower and um back here we have a little storage closet I brought this little towel rack from home. I suggest getting a towel rack. It's super super helpful, especially when living with multiple people, because then you can just hang up your towels all in the same thing. They'll stay dry, nothing stinks. It's good to have, definitely super helpful. Um, inside this closet, it's just storage. We just keep all sorts of things in there. Nothing crazy. That's the vacuum that sucks. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it in there. You can pretty much put whatever you want in there. I think it's super helpful to have the extra storage, especially for like linens, laundry, towels, things like that. This is our mirror and our um, countertop and cabinets. Why are words not coming to me? Coming to me today. Words are hard. I don't know why it's happening. Anyways, here we are. So this is a little box that Sophie had. Okay, so the only things that came in here are obviously the sink and the cabinets, but um, that's this cute little box that Sophie had. We just kind of have our stuff thrown around in here. We make it work. Um, they keep their makeup bags in here. In this drawer, we keep all of our curling irons, flat irons, things like that. This is fake. And then in here, I keep all of like my personal products. And then down here, all of this opens up and we keep all of our personal products in there too, like cleaning stuff, feminine hygiene things, and all that good stuff. Um, our toilet paper, trash can, toilet, toilet bunger that I think came with the apartment. I don't know if Emily maybe brought it, but I believe it's been here the whole time I've been here. Then again, Emily has been here a week before we were, so some things I'm not totally sure whether they came or if she brought them. Like that, for example. Um, and then we have more tissues because allergies, yay! Pretty much, that's it for the bathroom. It's... It's pretty good for three people. I really cannot complain at all. I feel like it's pretty good. Um, yeah, I did have to clean the floor when I came in here. I literally got on my hands and knees and I scrubbed the floor with bleach because it was kind of gross when I got in here. I'm um, just like the grout was all black and nasty. So I definitely scrubbed it and cleaned it up. And I, I, I got to work out it. <laughs> so just be prepared to do some deep cleaning when you get here. But that's pretty much it for the bathroom. All right, everybody, so that is pretty much it for our dorm room tour of my Chatham Square two-bedroom, six-person dorm. Um, this is like every, this is basically where we spend all of our time. We do have a common area outside with our other roommates, but that one is like kind of theirs because they were here before us, so I didn't really want to show y'all their space but over the summer Sophie and I will probably be moving into a different dorm because they don't let you like stay in the same one if you extend I don't really know why but that's just the way DCB works so we could be moving into a totally different complex like could be Miss Way, Commons, Patterson who knows we'll find out but hopefully then we'll be able to decorate a little bit more out there so I can show you just like a whole apartment tour rather than just like the dorm tour but for right now that's pretty much it if you have any questions at all about anything go ahead and put them in the comments below or if you have any video suggestions let me know down below too but other than that that's pretty much it yeah so thank you guys for watching i hope you have a great day and 
I'll see you guys next time. Bye.